Survivors on the street. Families without homes. With Grenfell Tower still burning, Kensington and Chelsea was at the centre of a disaster in London. Yet the inquiry heard how it repeatedly refused help from other councils in the days after the fire. It was surprising to me that offers of support would be turned down by any borough in an incident of this kind. And I would have expected a far more formal request for support from the leadership on that borough. John Baradell is the current town clerk and chief executive of the City of London. I swear by Almighty God... That the the inquiry heard from him today as he was put in charge of Grenfell's response team after Kensington and Chelsea repeatedly failed to cope. Kensington and Chelsea are, were, were a very confident council and they projected competence, professionalism, ability that I think in retrospect clearly was not backed up by action or indeed how they behaved in the incident and the aftermath of it. And that's a very blunt thing to say. Mr Baradell took over on the day there was a demonstration outside the town hall offices. He said at the time the leadership structure in the council was in a bad way. That demonstrated to me firsthand the fragility of the leadership team in KNC after working all hours bluntly between the fire and then. And that's what I was talking about in a bad way. He finished his evidence by addressing the victims of the fire. But overall, I'd like to thank some of the affected, some of the bereaved, who didn't turn their back on me or colleagues who tried to help, but have reached out and have continued contact. And that means more than anything else. The inquiry continues tomorrow. Rags Martel, ITV News.